Okay, asking for like a friend or something. Um. Uh, no. Sorry, lady. You're not asking for a friend. You're asking for yourself. Whenever you hear somebody say, I'm just asking for a friend, they're asking for themselves. Is there a, some kind of like timeline, like time frame where once you've been divorced for five years, there's like some kind of like fair game on your dude's ex-wife? Like, is that a rule? Like your, your friend's ex-wife? Like, does that mean like she's now an option? Like, is that, I don't know, sometimes, you know, for my friend, there's people coming out of the word work that she hasn't spoken to in over five years. And um, she's, she's wondering. I'm wondering how that she's, you know, is there, what's, is that like a rule? Is that like, is there code? Is that bro code? Five years? Just one, just, she's wondering. Okay. I no, you're wondering. So apparently there's guys that you've known that is, that are friends with your ex-husband and you're wondering now, is it okay if you get with those guys? These are guys that you probably were already interested in and that you liked or you were attracted to when you were married. Because see, a lot of women have no problem uh, sleeping with a husband's friend, a husband's cousin, or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? No problem at all. They, they, It just doesn't bother them. And I'll give you a good example of that. I, I used to talk to this woman years ago, maybe five, six years ago now. And um, I actually knew her her uh, fiance first right and I met him and we hung out and we were friends and, and all this type of thing and uh, you know he would tell me all these stories about their relationship and he told me that you know he was going to marry her and he went to give her the ring and you know she threw it back at him and all this stuff right and they had like uh, two kids and then she was taking care of her, her uh, niece because she adopted her or whatever the case may be and um my daughter at the time was was friends with them and she would like you know play with them and um he eventually moved out because they were living in the same apartment together and um he eventually moved out i guess he got fed up with the no and she didn't want to marry him or whatever but anyway um he moved out and then you know our kids kept playing together and then i would notice that she would kind of like give me like these winks and these extra smiles and then a couple times she like rubbed on my arm and stuff like that and i was like okay i'm a man i know what that means right and so uh one day she just flat out told me i like you and you know our kids play good together and um then she went so far as to tell me that um my kid said that or asked me if you could be our stepfather and i was just like what like what are you talking about right and i told her i was like you know what you're cool you're attractive uh, you're nice and all that one i don't really you know date women with children single moms or anything like that for various reasons been there done that and the, the main reason is that I know him and I knew him before you. Then he told me about your problems. And, you know, we had conversations about relationships and women in general and all this and that. Right. And I said, it wouldn't be cool for me to, you know, talk to you like that when I knew him first. Now, if I didn't know him first, maybe, you know, it, it could be a little bit something different. You know, still, you know, you you're a single mom and I'm kind of not attracted to that. But anyway, I told her that. Right. And you know what she tells me? She was like, oh, you guys and your stupid codes. Uh, why does that even matter? Right. And I was like, so it would be cool if your ex got with your friend. No. What do you what do you mean? That's gross. I, I, I kick her ass. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, so why is it different? Why? Why the double standard? And she just sat there and kind of looked at me. She could not give me an answer because women don't think about things like that. They don't have a problem with sleeping with your friend or your cousin or your brother. They don't, a lot of them don't see anything wrong with that, but there is a problem with that. And as far as me, the way I see it, I'm not really blaming the woman in that situation. I'm blaming the dude, the, the friend, because there's so many people out there. You don't have to pick her. Why her? If you pick her, that tells me that you have been eyeing her this whole time. You just been waiting for something to, to break this whole time so you can slide in. And this is another thing, guys, you need to understand that. Be careful about the guys that you bring around your woman. 
because a lot of them will stab you in the back all day. A lot of them will do a lot of crazy things, a lot of underhanded things um, to you and towards you and the whole time say that, you know, you're their friend and they, they care about you and all of this. But as soon as there's an opening, you know what I'm saying? They will slide right through. So I would blame the guy more because that's a man code type of thing. But, you know, women are going to be women. And a lot of times women do these things because women are, are more focused on what makes them feel good in the moment, not what the future is. Right. Or what the past is. It's usually all about what makes them feel good in the moment. And they'll say things like, well, he understands me. He talks to me or he's there when somebody else isn't there or I just feel this genuine connection with him. A lot of times they have no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? So I blame the men. But this woman right here is definitely asking for herself. She's trying to throw that out there to see if she'll get comments that say, yeah, girl, just go for it. That was five years ago. It doesn't matter. He's gone now. Get with him. Because this whole time, this guy could have been sliding to the side and saying, you know what? Um, he doesn't really care about you. He doesn't really, you know, like you like that. He's not in love with you anymore. Um, he's told me so, uh, you know, you deserve better. Yeah, men do stuff like that a lot. And I think all men can attest to that because we've all had to deal with um, men like this in our lifetime. At some point as a man, you will run across men like this and you have to be very careful. But like I said, I don't necessarily blame women for this. It doesn't mean that I don't think that they're wrong because I think it is wrong. But you have to understand the difference between men and women. Women will always tend to think about what makes them feel good in the moment, not about the past and not about the future. So they will do things that will seem kind of bad and kind of awful. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about what makes them um, feel good. But if I was that guy, I wouldn't touch that with a pole. Because, you know, some people are crazy, man. Some people are very uh, territorial, especially men. We are territorial over women. And I don't know if she has children. If she has children, that's even a, a, a deeper thing. You see what I'm saying? That can even lead to even worse problems with that situation. There's a lot of people out there. Don't pick uh, your, your homeboy's wife, your homeboy's ex-wife, your homeboy's uh, girlfriend from high school or college man don't do that you have the power to achieve anything you want don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals and remember stay focused stay strong and stay positive make sure to like subscribe and share this video with those in need